G'day folks, it is Monday the <coughs> 13th of March, the time is 24 past 5 in the afternoon and I am here at Lock. I was actually, I've just come onto the rail trail, the Great Southern Rail Trail and um, I don't know how well you can see that, it might be a bit dark because I've got the filter on but the sun's behind me so I need it. I actually um, started off in Caram Downs this morning, finished off with my son, and then I rode from there to Nyora and um, went to the toilet there. Had a look around my old haunt just quickly and um, got onto the website, the South Gippy website, South Gippsland Shire Council website which is actually the Great Southern Rail Trail website managed by them and it said that that last bridge at Nyora to lock <coughs> hadn't been finished so I went back on the road but while I was at Nyora sitting on the table there having a rest a guy walked past uh, to the toilet to fill up his water bottles and then walked back and then when I took off cyclists here. Hey guys, how are you? And uh, when I took off, I saw them at the bus stop. They were just sitting there and they were looking at me. Anyway, I'm here at Lock. Came down the road and they were riding past. And I said, oi, didn't I see you at uh, Nyora? And they said, yeah, yeah, we saw you there. We were wondering why you were going on the road. And I said, because wasn't open yet and he goes oh no it's open it's very nice and fuck so I run fuck it now anyway it's not surprising South Gippsland Shire Council mm. we ain't friends we ain't friends anyway I've got uh, from Lock to Corumburra well, from Nyora to Corumburra is 24 k's, and from Nyora to Lock is about 5 or 6, so I've probably got another 18 or 19 k's to go <coughs> before I get there. And I'm going to get a pizza, hopefully, for dinner. It's a great pizza restaurant there, I will show it to you if they're open. <coughs> Once I get up this hill, I'm going to tell you about something that's just happened recently in the last few weeks. Oh yes. There's a bridge coming up, going under it. <laughs> Haven't hit the first gate yet. And I've never been down here before with this uh, rig like this, with the kids trailer and the, the other cargo trailer on the back. We'll see what we see. Anyway, back around. All right, guys, we're coming up to the first gate since leaving Lock, and uh, let's see if I need to unhook the trailers at the back, or I'm going to be able to get around the chicanes without having to un, un, attack, unhook it, we'll see, or oh, this is a push gate, hopefully, it's been so long since I've been through here I really don't remember, but we will see, we will see, there we go, there we go, alright, 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 alright. Oh, let's just get out and have a bit of a squeeze quickly. Let's 
Yeah, we go. Let's lift it up. Let's lift them up. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm skidding, I'm skidding, 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 skidding. Holy shit. Holy shit. We made it. Didn't have to unhook that one at all. How about that? Isn't that lovely? What about this one? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. a little bit. Got another lovely little bridge to go under here. Absolutely knackered. <laughs> it has been seriously sunny <coughs> all day. I put sunblock on but Bloody hell, still cooking, still cooking. <sighs>
Good morning, everybody. <coughs> it is 9 or 8.54 a.m., Tuesday the 14th of March, 23. And I have just left Coonwarra. Yesterday, um, I rode to Corumburra. Uh, and then I stayed there for dinner. I had a rest for an hour and a half, but I couldn't find anywhere to charge the e-bike battery, which was almost empty. And um, so I decided to do some night riding. First time I've ever done that. Sorry about the darkness. Maybe I should take this um, filter off. Yeah, I'll do that. Hang on a sec. Take this filter off. Yes, just quickly. Grab that. Come on, you bastard. Get off. There we go. That's better. Put this in here. Yes, yeah, so I rode from Corumburra to Leangatha. I left Corumburra at about 9.30pm and I rolled into Leangatha probably about 11, but I, it was all uphill the whole way and I had no electric motor so it was all manual. It took a long time and I was absolutely knackered by the time I got there. Anyway, I found a great place in Leangatha. I won't say where it is, but you know, this is where people's curiosity needs to um, work to their advantage, mate. You know, I always check out rec reserves and public parks and that. So anyway, I found a place with a toilet, barbecues, water, gazebo, picnic tables, and power. So I hooked up my batteries into the power thing. I charged everything up and I slept right next to it on a picnic table under the cover of a gazebo. Mate, you could not, you know, have wished for a better spot. I didn't even need to stick up the tent. Just put my mattresses down and did that. So now we're on our way to Minian. I just stopped at Coonwarra. I had a coffee and um, uh, some roll with egg, bacon and relish on there from, um, ah, I don't remember the name of it. Beautiful, beautiful uh, little cafe restaurant there. I'll, I'll put the name down in the description or in the video itself. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful ride. I got a flat tire this morning on one of the kids trailers wheels that is actually totally worn through. I only bought those uh, tires maybe, you know, five months ago really, but I had only used them uh, maybe four or five times and they're gone already. So, you know, I need to really invest in some decent tires. So that flat tire I got was at Lee and Gatha. Probably ran over a bit of glass, so what I did was I had some electrical tape in there. I just ran that on the inside, you know, doubled over all around and um, carefully laid the new tube in over that, put everything together, pumped it all up. So far, so good, but unfortunately for me, the bike store in Lean Gather, and there's only one of them, uh, <coughs> opens on Thursday. And I, I can't wait two days for a bloody thing to open up just to find out that they don't have what I want. <laughs> I was spewing, mate, because of Coonwarra, uh, Corumburra, there's a massive bike store there. But, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Anywho, uh, I want to tell you a story. <laughs> Something happened a couple of weeks ago, as I was saying before. But there was all these hills I couldn't tell you and I was puffed out, but it's pretty flat here now, so I'll tell you the story. I was travelling in this with the kids trailer, but not the, the red cargo trailer on the back. And I was busting for a shark, mate. And I had about two minutes <coughs> to find a toilet or go squat next to a bush. I had no toilet paper or anything. Uh, I just didn't think I'd need it because I was only going from where I was to my son's place. You know, it's only a two hour ride. Didn't think I'd need it. Well, you know, experience tells me that you should always take some paper with you, no matter what. Anyway, so I find this new shopping center on the way to my son's. And um, where I was looking around, right, I, I, I rode to this kid's park, which is right next to the shopping center and right out the front of a cafe kind of thing and whatever. Anyway, there was a lady in there with her son. I rode quietly past them and she said hello and I said g'day back. And, and I'm looking for a sign that says toilets because it's a big building. 
I didn't want to walk too far as you can imagine. Oh, we got a lovely bridge here. All right, uh, I'll get back to that story. Hang on, I'll just quickly tell you the story here and then we'll do this bridge. So anyway, I ride past um, the main entrance of the shopping center and I'm looking for another door with a sign saying toilets, couldn't find it. So I came back and I parked the rig right next to this um, kids playground and near this cafe and, and the main entrance. And um, by the time I came back, there was an, a young guy, you know, when I say young, younger than me, in his early thirties or something. And he had a girl there. I don't know if he's a girlfriend or whatever. But they were sitting there, and I was so bussing for a, <laughs> to go to the toilet. All I wanted to do was park the rig, jump off, and go and find this toilet because things were about to get very explosive. And that's what I did. But as I jumped out of the rig and started to walk towards the door and past where this, these two people were, this guy just fucking jumps out of his seat, and as he does, he goes, That's fucking bullshit! And he looks at his his girlfriend and she's got a like a, a smirk on her face or something. Anyway, at this time, I had no idea that it had anything to do with me. I thought they were having an argument or something. I don't know. Anyway, I was so preoccupied with wanting to take a shit that I went in and uh, I did the business. And while I was there, I started to reflect and think, hang on, does that guy think that I've got a kid in the kid's trailer and he thinks I've left my kid in there while I've gone and do shopping? I'm thinking, man, what if he thinks that? Oh, yeah, I guess, you know, that could be a possibility. Um, so th then I'm thinking to myself, as I'm cleaning myself up, I'm thinking, but why wouldn't you just ask instead of throwing a fucking hissy fit? Anyway, I've come to the conclusion that oh, there might be a possibility this guy's going to hassle me. Oh, fucking hell, all right. So I'm walking back out and he's still standing there and he's a bit flustered and I just walked past him and he said nothing and nothing happened. So I jump in the rig and the lady and her son came over from the kids playground and we're having a bit of a chat to me and she's going, have a look at his bike, buddy. And I'm like, hey, buddy, how you going? She's like, thank you so much. He really loves your bike. I'm like, no worries at all. You have a great day. And I rode off. Now, I get a lot of stuff like that, not so much with the kids trailer, with people throwing tantrums, but with truck drivers and tradies and cars in general and, you know, and my whole sort of uh, stance on that is pull over. If you've got a fucking problem with me, you know, don't yell and scream and carry on like a fucking pork chop. Pull over and let's have a man-to-man -man conversation, you know. I mean, I'm all for it, you know. But, you know, if you're going to throw tantrums and stuff like that, then you get what you deserve, you know. Um, I'll try and walk away if I can, but if not, well, you've got me. <laughs> All right, let's get into this bridge. I might fly the drone up here. Let's spin this around. Hopefully it's not too washed out. Then we go through. Uh, how's that looking? Yeah, maybe probably be washed out. The sun's over that way. Now I've got to check this for possible drone work because I think it'd look pretty cool. What I do? Actually, no, maybe not this one. Maybe not drone this one. There's not really much water under this one. There's a bigger one coming up, which would be worth a bit of drone work. But this one, no. No, we'll keep going. And it's washed out as all fuck. Oh dear. Alright, hang on. Uh, I've got to put the MD filter back on. Stop recording. You caught me off guard on the shoulders of the freeway. You told me real soft, I've never been in this lane. And I saw it in your eyes, explosions in the skies. Hands in your pocket, shoulder to shoulder, so laid out for me. Oh.
Very nice. Whether that uh, trailer tyre holds up or not, I don't know, but there's less chance of getting a flat or having something land through there on the rail trail as there was in Lane Gatha with all the fucking broken glass everywhere. Oh yes. Oh yes. <coughs> Alright, this is quite nice. Yes, very nice. Seventeen Ks an hour is what we're doing. Sort of average speed on the flats, really, with this configuration. Very light, very light. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I did some night riding last night. And mate, I'm a huge fan of it. I really am. It's so peaceful. There's so much more wildlife. I had a massive wombat come charging out of the, the, the scrub and start running along at first in front of me for a while. And then he's not sure where he's going and then he ran to the left and, and he had that for a while, maybe 10 meters, he was just running along beside me. I think like a big, I hope he doesn't charge me. <laughs> And then he scooted off into the thing. And then I saw a possum, beautiful, like just, you know, it caught in my headlight and just wasn't going to move until I almost, I went to the right of him and then it looked like he was going to run out. But then he realised where I was going and then just, in one jump, pretty much just jumped off the track and into a fucking bush thing. And then there was this rabbit. What is it with bloody rabbits, I tell you. He come running out of the side, of the right side, ran straight in front of the rig and just kept zigzagging his way. I'm not kidding you, for about 80 feet. Uh, and I'm thinking, bloody hell, you know, why don't you just go off to the side, man? Bloody hell. Anyway, eventually he did, but that seems to be the case with rabbits. They are not the smartest creatures. Anyway. I, uh, I'm not sure how far away from uh, Menian I am, <coughs> but today I've only got 50 k's to get to T-Man's house. I'm going to do it all in one go. Uh, oh, here comes a nice bridge. And um, yeah, that's how it's going to be. All right, I think this is where I'm going to do some draining. strong I am goodbye I'm a long way from home I am an orchard at the start of spring I am a mockingbird I love to sing and I'm on a fly I'm gonna fly I am an old road walking on my feet I am laughing neath the weeping willow tree I am a dog barking, a honeybee sting I ain't no angel but I've got my wings I'm on a fly I'm gonna fly tire 
that's worn right through has caused me another puncture and I only just got out of Meany and maybe 100 200 meters and uh, it just popped so I've rung T-Man uh, unfortunately his trailer is at his mum's or his sister's house in Kilmore um, but he's gonna try and loan somebody else's trailer and get back to me so the, the, the whole bike ride to T-Man's house has come to a, a massive halt. The only thing I can think of is if that he doesn't get a trailer, then at least if he can come and grab the two trailers and I just take off on the prime mover and get there in this. But, you know, there's nothing I can take with me other than the bare essentials, which is all right. Foster will be open. I'll grab some food in there. Not a problem. Um, so yeah, that means he'd have to bring his Rodeo and uh, whack all the shit in there. So anyway, we'll see what happens. If he gets a trailer, then we'll just whack everything on the trailer and we'll just be done with that. Um, and that'll be that. All right. All right. Well, you can see that, but it is knackered, mate. Absolutely knackered. And uh, where's the... See? It's like totally worn through there, but one of them here, yeah, there's a hole. There's the hole. Now where you can see it, right there, big hole. It's got tape on there and that, but it's not enough to fix it. Anyway, T-Man got back to me. He is on his way. The battery is still fully charged from this morning, so no real need for it to be out in the sun, but old habits die hard. And I'm just sitting here in the shade of this pavilion at Menian Rec Reserve, mate. Um, there's a bowling club here. I've shown you guys around here before in previous uploads. It's a lovely little little place. Anyway, the team man should be here in about 20, 30 minutes. And uh, we're going to whack all that on a trailer. And then I'll be going back to his house. He'll be going off to mow some lawns and I'll do some editing. So hopefully you'll see this uh, by the end of today, guys. Hooray!